Uh, no, the marriage license has already been signed. What I've been trying to find out for the last half an hour is how many days the waiting period is. Well, he's not an alien. I mean, not from another country, maybe from another planet. No, he's not mentally deficient. Not noticeably, anyway. Look, the point is, my fiancé and I just want to get this over with as soon as possible. As in goodbye, cruel world. And if you don't give me those bank statements right away, you're going to be in big trouble. Who is the poor sap? Keith, look, I'm really busy. I'm trying to clean this place up. It is filthy around here. It's even dirtier than your apartment. Uh -huh. and like that disgusting six-letter word I just heard. Um, fiancé. Oh, you better get your ears clean, babe. I said financier. I was talking to my bank. Yeah. I'm asking them to send me some financial statements. And what's that? Uh, uh, bank statement. Don't give me the runaround. It's Keith you're talking to, not somebody else. Well, I'll tell you something, Keith. If I don't get around you, I won't get any work Listen, done. I'm sorry if I shattered your dreams when I turned down your marriage proposal, but, you know... Don't worry about it. I've got a lot more dreams where those came from. Did you place an ad in the personals? What'd you do? I'd be better off with a sex-starved pygmy than you, Keith. <laughs> no, on second thought, you are a sex-starved pygmy. <laughs> oh, sticks and stones, you know. But you know what they say. The jilted are always bitter. And once you've had the best, the rest is just dog meat. Here, some briefs for you to type up. If you have time out from your husband hunting. You know, I hope this guy's insurance is in good shape. Genuine plastic. You've thought of everything. Mom and Daddy are going to love a surprise wedding, aren't they? Oh, I don't know. I know there's been times Dad would have loved a surprise divorce. No one is allowed to mention Gina. And if they mess up, they're going to have to answer to me. Well, don't look at me. I'm trying to get into the wedding spirit. What can I do? Oh, well, we can take the cake to the car and get temptation out of your way. Consider it done. Anything else? Oh, unless you want to be a bridesmaid. I don't think so. Uh, Kelly and I have our dresses. I was thinking of asking Haley, but I think it might be an awkward situation. Well, you could ask Victoria. Uh, she doesn't know Mama really well. I wouldn't want her to feel uncomfortable. You mean you wouldn't want to feel uncomfortable? It's not appropriate, Mason. Good morning. Good night, Haley. Thanks. You know, maybe you, you don't think I understand exactly how you feel, but I am trying. Then you won't argue with me about me wanting to go see the counselor. Hey. Look, you, you know, when you first started working here, we were just friends. You remember that? Just friends. And we knew how each other felt, right? You know, I mean, we knew what we needed. Ted, I have been raped. This has changed my whole life. It's changing us. And that's why I want you to talk to me about this, like, like we did. I really need your support right now. I am now. offering you my support. But you don't want it. You want me to step aside while you waltz on by to some so-called expert. She's a counselor. A counselor who can help us, help couples deal with this type of problem. But now you want me to... Haley, this is the only problem we are having right now. Is this... You just don't understand, no, do you? I don't understand. I don't understand who somebody I don't know who doesn't know me can tell me how to take care of my own wife. I think it's an excuse. An excuse for what? I think that this, this rape counselor is an excuse for you not to deal with me. Will you listen to yourself? Is it any wonder that I don't want to deal with you? I'm sorry, I've got to go. What happened? Where's she going? Doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Not a damn thing. Really? Hi. Did Ted send you here? Nope. He didn't. You all right? I know you all are thinking that I'm trying to hurt him by going to see this counselor. Oh, okay. That's what this is all about. No, that isn't what I think at all. But you know what? It doesn't really matter what I think or what anyone else thinks. I'm not trying to make this more difficult for Ted. I know you're not. But you're trying to do better for yourself, aren't you? 
Why can't he see that? Oh, honey, since Ted was a little boy, he thought if he tried really hard, he could make everyone happy. Look, I know his intentions are good. Haley, it... It took me a lot of years in my therapy to realize that the best thing I could do for myself was take a good, clear look at my feelings. You saw a psychiatrist? You bet I did, when I was separated from CC. What you have to do is start thinking about yourself. You have to start trying to figure out what you can do to stop hurting, whether Ted agrees with you or not. What I want for you is for you to be happy again. And whatever you have to do to make that happen, that's what I want. Why in blazes would she want to drag strangers into this? Oh, she doesn't think I understand what she's going through. Well, it's a very difficult thing to understand. Well, I have tried. Dad, she won't even let me near her. And then she keeps telling me not to get so angry. It's understandable to be angry. It's a normal reaction. Why wouldn't a man be angry when something like this happens? I don't know. Dad, I think I should have supported her. Look, son, you've got to make her realize that the answers are here. They're here within the family. I don't want her to go outside to somebody and, and, and get her mind all messed up. And put a stop to it. The worst part is, is she's not even mad at this scum. I mean, he has been dragged in, he's been formally charged, and she is still defends the guy. And she is just confused. You're going to have to make her feel safe again. You're going to have to make her know and realize that she's part of the family, what she can expect from the family, and what the family expects from her. Well, I can't tell her how to act, though. Now, listen to me. Do you want her shrinking away from you every time there's trouble? Is that what you want? No. Of course I don't. And you have to make her realize that her strength is within, within her and within the family. People use this family, so that's why we have to pull together, why we have to insulate ourselves. And you're going to be fine, you and Hallie both, and someday you're going to teach your son that taking care of your own is the only way. I think I should have learned some other way, because I, I failed her, Dad. Oh, now stop that. Just cut it out. That's nonsense, and you know it. Any other man would have... Listen, I'm very proud of you. You're a good man. It shouldn't have happened to you or her. Life will pay you back for it. I'll see you it. So, cutie, what's got this face smiling this morning, huh? My son. Mm -hmm. Eden called and she asked me to take him for the rest of the afternoon. Like you need her permission. Well, technically I do. Anyway, she asked whether we could meet her over cruises at one. Me? Why? What's going on? I, I don't know. You know, the Capitals don't clear their plans with me. Look, why don't we just go there and find out what she wants, and then um, pack a picnic dinner and take Brandon and Johnny down to the beach, huh? How about that? That sounds great, but let's just see how the day goes here. Huh? <sighs> you, you know, you work too hard. Well, I've got to pay the bills. Speaking of bills, try moving from a, an apartment to a house in order to see your money run away from you. That's true. Yes. Uh, hey, listen, let everybody stand up at once. Miss Wainwright and I have some pressing business. Uh, How rude can you be? Well, you'll be begging for more once you hear what your business is. Why did I ever agree to let you take me lunch? You know, you act so tough, but there's an inner warmth inside. You know that? That's it. Find yourself a table for one. If you want to talk about Jake, call my office. Women have Get your always misunderstood me. It always started with my mommy. You know that. But you'll change your opinion of me when you hear this news. What are you, the town crier now? Word has it at the courthouse that your old friend Mason is being offered a partnership at your fancy law firm. A, a partnership? You mean like having your name on the door? Gotcha, didn't I? I knew it. I knew it from your reaction when I booted uh, him out of the DA's office. Yep. You know, I, I really don't see how anyone could not object to you being in public office. No, no, no. It wasn't legal righteousness. I smelled an inter-office pas de deux, you know what I mean? Like a little pinch and giggle in the law file room, you know? Pinch and giggle. Yeah. Please, you're getting me confused with your new secretary. Just think of it. Think of it. You know, you slaving away in the dungeon and your new boss, Mason, waltzing in. Wherever Julia goes, her lamb seems to follow. You know what I mean? Victoria, it's just that I didn't think that you felt at ease around my parents just yet. That's all right, Eden. I'm sure your father would rather have his daughters as bridesmaids. 
No wonder you don't fit in. You're too gracious. What happened to one for all and all for one? Mason, Eden? let's not make an issue out of this. Eden, I don't expect instant acceptance. I know it's going to take a while. Victoria, it really doesn't have anything to do with acceptance. I mean, I was just trying to do what caused the least friction. You know, we really, we really have a lot to do around here. How are we going to sneak these things over to your parents' house? Well, I thought that maybe... Well, I convinced them that they were going to a phony charity luncheon at the Orient Express. Mm. <laughs> mm. Deception is in the genes. Yeah, and the driver's going to come up with some excuse to get them back to the house. And by that time, we should have everything set up at the gazebo. Well, they have no idea about any of this? No, I could tell if they were suspicious. Well, gee, kids, it looks like we're putting on a show. Yes, we are. Mom and Daddy have waited a long time for this day, and no one is going to ruin it, not even Gina. I wonder if anyone's told Gina that. Oh, the bondage is freedom ceremony. Look, I don't care what you recite. You can recite the Star Spangled Banner as far as I'm concerned, as long as it's legal. Legal and binding. Uh, as soon as I see your legal tender. Well, wait a minute. After the ceremony. Sister, the Church of the Everlasting Flower um, does not take credit cards or IOUs. We're striving for simplicity. Cash in advance. All right. Here's 50 bucks. But don't you try to squeeze any more money out of me. Consider the knot to be tied, sister. Well, look who's here. You want to go somewhere else? Uh, what, and desert Julia in her hour of need? Okay, well, we just say hi. We do not sit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tea? Always a pleasure. See, I told you he'd succumb to your irresistible charm. Would you mind not dragging him into this? I can take care of the Jake Morton case without a second opinion. Is that so? I got evidence. I got, I got uh, the victim's statement. I got a suspect. I got everything. Don't underestimate your opponent. I knew he'd leap to your defense. Maybe you can convince your soon-to-be underling to accept my generosity and take a plea bargain. I'm not interested. There's your answer. Is it true that you're joining the firm? Whoa, the gossip mill is grinding overtime, isn't it? Uh, Mary Starr and all eyes follow you, you know. Well, is it official? Smith Caulfield has made a good offer. I haven't accepted yet. You sound like somebody's press secretary. When do you have to let them know? Today. And between you and me, I'm much inclined to say yes. Oh, gee, it must be kismet. Remember, you heard it from me first. Mm. Well, shall we, Victoria? I guess I'll, uh... Be seeing you soon. What's the matter? Capwell got your tongue? Huh? Can it, Keith? <laughs> Keith Timmons is such a despicable man. Oh, you're much too kind. Julia didn't seem to mind the two of you working together. Nobody knows what goes on in the inner recesses of Julia's mind. Well, she seems very open to me. You don't know her very well. What's she like to work with? Stimulating. I don't think I ever really told her just how good an attorney I think she is. We were too busy fighting our private war. Mm. Well, you're going to have plenty of opportunities when you two work together again. I don't know. Just because we're working for the same firm doesn't mean we'll be working together. We have trouble agreeing on cases. She has this total belief in her clients, coupled with this incredible love for the law. I have to admit it's uh, somewhat contagious. But don't tell her I told you so. I think you could be another Clarence Darrell, only in high heels and makeup. Where's Haley? Haley just left. And you let her? I let her. I thought you were going to try to talk some sense into her. Haley knows exactly what she's doing. Was she upset? Yes, she was a little upset. Well, she hasn't exactly been thinking clearly since the night of the attack. It was not an attack, CC. It was a rape, and it happened to her, and you can't expect her to react the way you think is suitable. And I hope you understand that she's going to see a counselor, and she's not doing it to hurt you. I don't see what good it's going to do, though. Oh. Well, maybe when she talks to someone who's a stranger, she'll find out that her best advice will come from her family. I 
cannot believe this backward kind of thinking. What do you do, filling him with ancient family philosophy? It didn't hurt us when we had some rough times, now did it? This is different. How? Because Haley is confused. She is so confused, she doesn't even know what she's feeling. She's confused, and she's hurt, and she needs to make up her own mind what is best for her, whether you agree with it or Mom, not. Mom, the only way she's going to feel better is to know that she's loved. Now, how is some the volunteer self-help program going to give her that? You're wrong, Mom. Both of you are. You really did a number on him, didn't you? I did, while well, you're coaching Haley to get mental therapy. Let me tell you something. Sharing and getting in touch with one's feelings is for the birds. I did not coach her, and I am not ashamed to admit that at one time I needed help, too. That was because we were not together with each other at that time, remember? I've got a news flash for you, darling. Neither you nor being a capital is the answer to all life's problems. Don't you ridicule me. And I want to tell you something else. I don't appreciate you contradicting me in front of my son. Then you should have fallen in love with a digital watch, not a woman. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. How's the happy couple? Hello, darling. Did I interrupt something? No. We were just discussing something. I hope it was my charity luncheon. No, it was far from that. Actually, I forgot about that. I'm sorry. Oh, well, then it's a good thing I picked up your dress. What is that for? I volunteered for you to be a model in the fashion show. Oh, Eden, there's so much going on. I don't want to get that involved. Oh, Mama, what would it look like if my own mother didn't support me? No, no, Eden, do you know your mother is such a free spirit? Please, Mom? Please? All right, honey, I'll do it. Daddy? What? You'll be wearing your tux. Uh, most of the leading businessmen in the area are going to be there. Now, darling, you know I'm not into that kind of thing. Now, please. Oh, not putting on the big gap well front. Well, that's a first. The whole family's going to be there. I will be there. I would never let you down, Eden. You never have. Well, what's wrong with you two? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. I'll try this on. See if it fits. Excuse me. Did I say something? No, darling, no. It's just been a very tough day. It's... Gina hasn't come back, did she? I didn't see her broomstick parked out back. No, it's one of the few times it's not her fault or anything like that. Listen, I'm, uh, I've got to do something. It's kind of important. We'll talk to you tomorrow, all right? And we'll see you tomorrow. Sophia? You better see her tomorrow. something you want some coffee or no, something no I'm, I'm all right okay here you go so how have you been feeling okay yeah well your doctors tell me that you're not having any physical complications everything's fine um Haley you know most of the women I talk to find that it's very rough going for a while Ted's really trying to help well, that's great. Then the two of you must be doing something right. Um, how's school going? I've missed a few classes. I haven't been sleeping very well. Oh. You know, I used to have nightmares for almost three months. You were raped? Mm-hmm. When I was 15. And that is all I thought about. And being just a kid, I kept blaming myself. How did you get rid of the nightmares? Well, I talked about my feelings with somebody. Have you talked to Ted about your nightmares? Some. Haley, have you and Ted been able to make love? No. Well, that's, that's all right. That's okay. And, and don't feel guilty about that. Haley, a man has violated you. So whatever reactions you're having are totally understandable. But Ted loves me. But you're not turning away from Ted. You're turning away from being hurt. Protecting yourself is, is the most uh, appropriate reaction you can have. Look, um, I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't have come here, Sharon. Yeah. Why did you come here? I want to stop hurting. I, I don't want to be afraid anymore. Well, let's try to make that happen. Listen, I think we can do it. I really think I can help you. Please. 
please. How can you help me if my husband can't even help me? Haley, he's too close to you. He's too close to the rape. He's a victim, too. Please, Haley, don't give up on me. What's that? Hello? When? No, 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 don't get in touch with them yet. Where are you? Has she seen a doctor? All right. Have the police been notified? Haley. Haley! Hey. Well, what about Mom? Well, Brandon, Gina and Daddy decided not to live together anymore. Oh, no. Dad told me. It's just that they're happier when they're living apart. And you know how much Daddy loves Sophia. I like her, too. And we want him to be happy, don't we? Well, then what's really going to make him happy is if he can get married. And that's why we're going to throw him a surprise wedding tomorrow at the house. Is uh, everything said or do you have other things to do? Or? No, it's all arranged. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? I think maybe we should take a look at this jacket that Eden got for you to make sure that it's a perfect fit, okay? Come on. Mm. Rick. Yeah? What do you think about all this? <laughs> well, I think you got a lot of guts trying to surprise CC. I just feel that if we don't give him a push, they're never going to get married. Maybe that wouldn't be such a bad idea. Well, we know how much they love each other. And you better be there, because Mother will be very upset if you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Let me get that. Okay. Oh, you know, I shouldn't leave all this stuff out. Who is it? Well. Hi. 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 Whoa, did I miss something here? No, no, we're just planning on my parents' wedding tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You're kidding. And they don't know about it. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I'm so excited. I just hope Cruz can be here. Yeah. What, he won't be here? No, he's on assignment. As a matter of fact, he called. He told me to tell you that he thinks he traced Dottie to a shelter in Las Vegas. Oh, good. Eden, I, I, I hope this pans out because this is the only hope that Jake has. Oh, I hope mm. it's the florist with the flowers. Yeah. Who is it? Honey, it's me. What? Oh, wait a second. We've got to take okay. all this. Okay. Get the flowers Bye. and put them in the bedroom. Get the presents and stuff. Oh, take these. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, to look okay? Oh, uh, yeah, you look great. It's mom at the door. We oh, take oh, everything. Yeah, let me take the dresses and stuff. We'll hide in the bedroom. Okay. We'll put the stuff in the bedroom. That's a great idea. Could this... Ah, okay. Oh, baby. no, don't go out this way. Oh, get out. Here, go outside. Am I catching you at a bad time? No. Come on in. Oh, thank you. I tell you, I had to get out of that house. Had to get out of that house. Your father is so incorrigible. Eden, you know, sometimes I wonder if I was really stupid to marry the man in the first place, let alone even consider doing it again. Can you manage? Thanks, Santana. Uh -huh. I'll get this back to Eden when it's safe. Okay, we better get going before Sophia recognizes Briggs' car. Good idea. Bye -bye. Thanks a lot. I'll see you later. Hi. What are you doing here? Waiting for you. You left your shawl at Johnny's place. By the way, your locks are about as strong as tissue paper. I've just ordered you a security system. Seriously? Think of it as the other part of my housewarming present. That's very nice of you. Yeah, well, I don't like the idea of a thief entering in the middle of the night. You can be very sweet sometimes. Only lasts for a minute or two. What is all this? Don't tell me Eden dragged you into her peekaboo wedding plans. No, actually, I'm just uh, keeping some of these things away from Sophia because she walked into the house when I was there. Oh, don't tell me all this love and romance stuff has turned your blood into maple syrup, too. I think it's a beautiful idea. Now, I thought marriage and commitment were against your principles. Just because I'm not very successful at it myself doesn't mean that I can't be happy for my friends. I'm happy for you, Mason. And Victoria. Right. Well, are you happy about my decision to take the partnership? I accept it right after lunch. Welcome. Thank you. I think you'd be an asset, Mason. Um, I know that technically you're my boss, but I've got to tell you that I, I'm... I'm going to take the Jake Martin case by myself. That's fine. Just don't start screaming when I throw some lucrative cases at you. You remember those, don't you? The kind that make money? When I was sworn into the bar, I don't recall making any vows to become disgustingly rich on other people's troubles. I didn't come here to argue ethics with you. 
Why did you come here, Mason? Besides returning my shawl. I guess I wanted to uh, make sure you were okay about working with me. Why wouldn't I be? Well, you've been very, uh, very distant from me lately. We used to be so open. I, uh, I miss that. Well, we're heading in different directions, you know. Are we? Yeah, it's inevitable. We just don't see law the same way. We never have. I didn't know we were talking about law. I know we're moving in different directions, Julia. Do they have to be opposite ones? number nine, your stuff. Any messages? Uh, no. None I can repeat. You know, that's what I have you around here for, to bring some joy into my life. Here, I brought you a cup of coffee. I didn't ask for any coffee. Well, I noticed that you usually have a cup after lunch, so I fixed it just the way you like it. Are you all right? On top of the world. Drink it before it gets cold. I don't want any coffee. Keith, what is the problem? Every time I try to do something nice for you, you reject me. You don't appreciate me at all. All I get is a lot of complaints. Over all right, over. I'll drink the damn coffee. Great. Hit it, Bob. How long did you think you could keep it a secret, Keith? <laughs> Why is she doing this? Uh, <laughs> welcome to your bachelor party. We just wanted to see that you uh, went out in style. I, w I wasn't going anywhere. Oh, except for a long walk down the aisle. <laughs> what? What did you guys have? Ten martinis? What it's is all over the office, Keith. Right. Nichols found a copy of your marriage license. Now move on over. I want to kiss the beautiful bride. <laughs> You always tell me to be patient with Cruz. Cruz? Cruz isn't half as stubborn as your father. Don't be so sure. Ted and Cece are being so protective of Haley, they won't even let her breathe. Well, at least Haley went to a counselor. Yeah, well, no thanks to Cece. Daddy's always been overprotective, Mom. Overprotective? Oh, Eden. What's this list? Oh, nothing. That's, uh, uh, oh, these are the lists of the people who are coming to the luncheon. Hi. Oh, you came to pick up that book, right? Right. Sophia, hi. hi. Yeah, it's all right. Good to see you. Nice to see you, too. Thank uh, you. Here it is. Yeah, that's it. Great recipes. Good. Well, why don't you come in and sit down and visit? I've got a million things to do at home. Thanks, anyway. I'll see you at the luncheon tomorrow, though, right? Yes, we'll be there. Great, great. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh, okay. What is the matter with you? You seem so tense. No, I've just sort of been running myself ragged organizing this luncheon. Well, do you need help? If it's that difficult, I'll no. help you. What can I do? No, I can handle it. You and Daddy just show up. Showing up will be easy, but I cannot guarantee we'll be speaking to each other. I guess we just have to decide if we can work together under the same roof without a major explosion. Well, we did it in the DA's office before. Except for the Gus Jackson case. You love bringing that up, don't you? I've always tried to be honest with you, Mason. No dirty tricks, no office politics. I know that. Don't get a swelled head, but I trust you, Julia. You've always given me your complete honesty. And I really don't ever want to see that change. As far as our working together is concerned. And I think that uh, right now we should do something to uh, celebrate your new position. Like what? I have some champagne. I'm sorry, but it's domestic. Well, some of my best friends are domestic. Why don't you and your wife take that home and toast your new position on me? Well, a sage told me once that domestic champagne was better consumed during the day. Are the glasses unpacked? I'm sorry, I really can't do that right now, but uh, you could take it home. Uh, I mean, you sent me some champagne when I was hired, so I'm returning favor. You have a keen sense of fair play, Julia. Hi, Julia. Hi. When 
Mason. Hi. I was just uh, picking up something uh, on the way home. Uh, congratulations, gift. Oh, you told you the news. Yeah. And I and I have to say, I'm looking forward to working with Mason. He's, he brings a terrific challenge to me, and he always keeps me on my toes. Uh, Eden sent me over. I guess we should get a lot of this stuff home. Oh well, I'll uh, I'll give you a hand. Here, why don't you uh, put this on ice for now, and then if the day ever comes where we agree on a case, we can uh, crack it open then. We may be too old to pop the cork by then. <laughs> then we'll have one of the junior partners do it. Uh, well, let's uh, let's get this wedding on the road, huh? Thanks. Uh, Thanks. Keith, Thanks. really, I'm sorry Thanks. about this mix-up. Hey, hey, just a mistake. Gina has a terrific sense of humor. You know what I mean? Good night. Keith, like you said, it, it was a mistake. It was just a joke. Uh, yeah, with a real marriage license here. Why don't you take a sip? Hmm? No, I, I'm not thirsty. Come on, one sip. Keith, it's cold. It's burning a hole in the cup. What you put in here? Just sugar. Why does it smell like battery acid, huh? Come on, you got 20 seconds. Keith, Please. no! Peace and brotherhood. You all who dwell here. Nobody dwells here. This is an office. Keith, this is the Reverend Seahorse. The what? The, the Reverend of what? Pastor of the Church of the Eternal Flower. As witnesses to your spiritual union, I have brought along two companions. One is Nell, who is a seamstress from the 18th uh, century of London who died of cholera. And her assistant... And Harvey, a six-foot rabbit, scrams seaweed. There's going to be no spiritual union here. Look, I'll maybe better wait out here. Yeah, like out in the street, you nut! Don't you dare leave with my 50 bucks. Your money will come back to you, dear, if it's meant to be. Fifty dollars? You spared nothing this time. Can we just forget about the last few minutes? It's been a total nightmare. With a forged marriage license? Come on. It wasn't forged, Keith. You signed it. I signed it? Yes. Look. When did I sign it? The other night when I got you drunk. What, is this your idea? Or did you get this out of a comic book? You know, Keith, you could do a whole lot worse than me. I, well, how long did you plan to keep me drunk? Until death do us part? I guess I thought you'd get used to it. You know, Cece had a real good shot of getting used to it. He almost put a contract out on it. You don't have to rub it in. I made a mistake, all a right? A mistake? What? Is this how you expect to get a man? Is this really how you expect to get a man? Drug him and drag him to the altar? I don't know. Maybe I do. Oh, come on. This is pathetic. I know. What do you want? A written apology and triplicate? The worst part about it isn't that it didn't happen. But then now you know how much I wanted it to. Well, for what it's worth, I'm flattered. to make a decision soon. Mm -hmm. When do you want to start telling people? What? About the pregnancy. Uh, do we have to decide that now? No, but people are going to start to suspect. I can't fit into any of my clothes. Well, I'll handle the family. Good. But how am I going to handle you if you continue to be distant every time we talk about this? I'm sorry, Victoria. I shouldn't be allowed in the company of civilized people. Do you regret this marriage? Would you get that thought out of your mind? I've told you I'm excited about the baby. I'm excited about you, the prospect of building a life with you. Don't you know that by now? Um, I was thinking about signing us up for Lamaz classes if you want to be present at the birth. Well, after all these months in the making, you don't think I'd miss the grand finale, do you? I'd like to share the baby's birth with you. I want the baby to feel as safe in your arms as I do. Save my place.
Uh, delivery from Mason Capwell? That's me. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Sure. What is it? A bottle of champagne, apparently. Hmm. The day we agree on a case may never come, but let it not be said that Mason Capwell wasted a perfectly good bottle of champagne. Congratulations, your humble servant, Julia. It certainly was sweet of her. Brandon, I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw you here. Santana's in the kitchen with Brick, I think. Well, we don't need her to have a visit. I've missed you so much. I missed you, too. I know that your dad and I aren't living together anymore, but I, I, I want you to realize that I'm going to be seeing you just as much, I promise. Dad said you took a trip. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I did. It wasn't much fun, though. Trips are never fun without you. So what's the big news? What's going on? The big news is Dad's marrying Sophia. What? I mean... Everybody knows they might get married someday, but not soon. No, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow? No. Yes, they are. But it's a surprise. Nobody can know. Tom, are you sure? Positive. Cross my heart. All right, sweetie. Look, I, I want you to know that your, your secret's safe with me. Don't, don't worry. I hope I'm not interrupting this reunion. No. Actually, I've got to run, sweetie. I'll, uh... I'll see you real soon, though. Bye. Well, I guess you really miss your mom, huh? What did you guys talk about? Nothing. Nothing? Practically nothing. I was looking for you in the house. I need some fresh air. So how'd it go? Well, I tried talking to her. But all I could think about was you. I need you, Ted. I need you. The reason why I haven't been able to talk is because I'm afraid of what you're going to say. Would you trust me more than that? No, I'm not totally insensitive, Haley. Oh, I know that. I've been going over and over in my mind about what's happened. Do I know the rapist? Have I been leading him on and not knowing? I mean, did I make him follow me without being aware of it? Honey, don't say that. Look, Tim, I why just, didn't I, I wait for you while I, I was in the restaurant? I'm just so mad at myself for letting this happen. I feel like it's my fault. Haley, hey, half the time I feel just as guilty like I let you down. Damn it, I should have made sure that... be close to you. I, I can't. I get this sick feeling inside. I can't. It is because you're afraid. Yeah, I, I guess. We got to get this guy in jail. He is a very dangerous person. He, he should not be walking these streets. Ted, how can you be so sure? I'm not even how sure. How can you be so sure he isn't? Hell, you jumped to defend him. Don't you see this? I'm not the only person, either. The police, the district attorney, all think it is Jay. Because of you. You didn't care what they thought a few days ago, and now their word is God, and mine doesn't mean anything to you. I know this guy. I've been working with him. I know what kind of personality oh, Ted, he has. Oh, listen to you. You beg me to talk to you about how I feel, and then you jump all over Jake. Well, I'm trying to say what I've been through, and now you're... I get an argument Well, back. I get angry, Haley, because I love you. something going on between us, and I don't know what it is. I can't understand it. I've got to figure it out on my own. 
I'm going back to the crisis center, okay? No, don't. don't. Look, uh, come on, I'm sorry. I, I, I can control my temper, all right? Please, if we want this marriage to work, one of us has to admit that we need help. And I hoped that you would have cooled off a little when I was gone. And I hoped you'd outgrown running away every time we had a disagreement. We are talking about your son's wife. You have no right to make her feel ashamed just because your ideas of therapy go back to the Paleozoic era. I didn't say a word to that girl. Then I am warning you in advance. Don't you take that tone with me. Mama, I brought another change for you for tomorrow. Rosa put it in your room. I'm terribly sorry, Eden, I'm not going to be able to make that luncheon, but I'm sure your father can find a replacement for me just like that. But, Mama... Darling, Mama? I'm sorry I'm not going to... Sophia, come Daddy? back here! Now I am angry! This is not happening to me. It is not happening. You were right. Brandon told her. I thought Gina was pumping him for info. And what better way for Gina to get revenge than to ruin Cece and Sophia's ceremony? Yes, and forewarned is forearmed. Exactly what I was thinking. I think this has been the worst day of my life, Keith. I thought you were going home. Home? What's in that city motel room? Why don't you count your blessings? I did. I'm in the red. Cece and Sophia are getting married tomorrow. Tomorrow? What, what did Sophia drug them? Uh. I don't know. But Eden's planning this big surprise wedding with hearts and flowers everywhere. Now you see that style? You think so? Oh, we'll see what her surprise turns into when I'm through. Oh, don't do that again. Show some dignity. Don't, don't show them that you care. For God's sakes, get some self-respect. You're right. I mean, that would be the adult, mature thing to do. Good. Good. That's you taking some responsibility for your life. To hell with human potential, Keith. What am I, some doormat they can walk over any time they want to? I'm going to bring the curtain down and even surprise so fast, she won't know what hit her. She's a private but determined woman struggling for two years to set her brother, hostage Terry Anderson, free. The Peggy Say Story tonight on NBC Nightly News with Tom Brokaw.